It seems that Oakland natives still have something to say about Glorilla's recent club appearance, which ended with a fan throwing water on a 23-year-old. So if you noticed a few headlines recently, you might be asking yourself, what happened with Glorilla in Oakland? And what is all the fuss? Welcome back to Marcus at Work Media. Let me see if I can help you recap some of this mess. A recent book club appearance for Glorilla took a turn for the worse when fans assumed the CMG artist would be performing her hit songs. On Wednesday night, February 8th, at Complex Oakland, California, fans became frustrated when Glorilla began exiting the venue without giving them a show. One woman began yelling and then threw a drink on the Memphis rapper as she walked by. There seems to be some sort of mix up whether Glow was actually booked to perform or just do a walkthrough at the venue. According to the club promoter, Con B, the $30,000 contract signed between him and Glow's team guaranteed a performance. Not hosting, not a walkthrough, he now wants his money back. Ahead of the booking, he promoted Glow's appearance as she will be performing live, not hosting, not a walkthrough. She will be performing live in Oakland tonight on his IG story. On Friday, the CMG rapper posted a screenshot to her Instagram story in response to a troll. Quote, the Bay don't play. An Instagram user, Freddie Luciano, wrote in tag glow. Get her ass up out here real quick. You got to respect real pimping when you in Oakland. Not that phony shit. All right, so that's a general layout of what's been said out there. It's been some back and forth with posts and videos and interviews dealing with the promoter and Glorilla's team and the back and forth. So it's been kind of messy all over social media. But let me pull up some of these clips so you can get a general understanding of what's being said. I also have some clips from the promoter. Let's review some of the clips from the promoter now. And I'm gonna keep it real with you, that's nigga. Thirty k, that's a lot of money. I don't give a fuck who I'm here, and who's saying what. Thirty k, nigga, that's a lot of money, bro. And then the crazy that's part a about lot it, lot I don't of money, bro. Artists, bro. I don't mind losing, bro. Like, nigga, I'm a stand up nigga, bro. Like, you still get your back in everything if I lose. You feel me? I just want what you offered and what you promised me. You feel me? That's all I asked for, bro. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, right, I kept, I kept. My word with everything what with I'm, him, bro. Thinking, everything, bro. Like everything. What I'm thinking, because I'm seeing the comments yeah, saying that's not the first they, issue. So yeah, like that. Uh, Baystar you feel also me? had an issue where, so you email their team and then you get an email back, but everything is the same except for one letter. The crazy thing is, emails is private. So if I email Little Blood right now, only Little Blood know. But why am I getting an email back <laughs> with wire <laughs> numbers and I'm being scammed? So base, this is his second time being scammed by them. So that's why his frustration was even worse. You feel me? When he was going through what he was going through, shit like that, with um, bro. Right. And it wasn't no shortage. We even had the ball to buy, and she ain't even make fifteen k off that show. Come on, little bro. Are you I don't lie, bro. And I still wasn't. Look at the thing is, I still wasn't making the pay. Nigga, 600 came out his pocket to pay me, nigga, to help her. You feel me? Didn't have nothing to do with the show, bro. Right. Honestly, honestly, do you think because it was a Wednesday? Uh, I don't think it was a part of Wednesday. It played a part in it because nowadays it's um, all up to social media. You feel me? So I think you play a big presence in pushing your own show nowadays. You feel me? Because you're. Oh, uh, she never, never promoted the show. So you tell me last night she yeah, sent the video um, four days James before we'll the show, three days before the show, week that we booked her, three days before the show, week that we booked her, and never got it. And then um, I don't know what happened was on the other end, but I was hearing um, 
I was basically hearing that basically um that when Bass Charge was asking for it, he was like, you know, y'all can have y'all money back. We'll do woo. Like this one of the biggest artists. We already put all the money in the promotion marketing. We charge people for slots. Why would we want to cancel on people? 